Hey guys, Bigsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my PS3 collection. Uh, I guess this is episode number 14. Um, probably gonna get this done in like two or three more episodes, it's just ridiculous, but um, you guys know I've got an insane PS3 collection. A lot of you guys wanted to see it in detail, so this is what we gotta do. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be my consoles, guys. Um, you might think consoles, why are you having a whole episode of consoles? I got a lot of PS3 consoles. Uh, they're all box. Um, yeah, so let's get into it, guys. This will be pretty fun. Uh, so we'll start with the PS3 Slim. I think on one of these. So it's a boxed 160 gig plane. relief, nothing too special about this one. Um, I prefer the Super Slim, which is the one you're about to see. I've been using my Super Slim for about um, for about nine years now, and it hasn't let me down once. It's 500 gigabyte, and if you're looking for a console, I highly recommend that as your daily gaming one. Now moving on to some of the Super Slims, so we've got the red 12 gigabyte Super Slim. I believe there is a blue one as well, which I haven't found yet. Uh, so eventually I hope to get that one as well. Um, here we have the uh, black 12 gigabyte super slim now this box hasn't actually got the console in it I've got it set up and I did put a 500 gig hard drive in it um, But this was the original box that it came in And finally the last of the super slims now this was a European exclusive uh, it includes Killzone 3, Motorstorm Pacific Rift, and Uncharted 2. It is sealed, 500 gigabyte. Uh, it was a nice pack, um, so when I said it, I had to jump on it. Um, my focus is the Fatboy PS3, is the original one, which you will see. This is my last Super Slim. Um, yeah, but I really like the triple pack of this one, so I wanted to grab it. Now, I believe this is from like the Middle East. Uh, it's got English, Russian, um, Kazakhstan and I think that's Ukraine on the back. So it's somewhere in um, like Russia or an old Scandinavian country or something like that. Anyway, moving on guys. Now, so first to the fat boys. Now I do apologize, I'm not gonna be getting the consoles out. That would take forever. And every time you do, it sort of, not damages them, but it can. Um, so you want to be really careful. If you do want to see these consoles, I did do an unboxing video um, a long time ago, but I will link that in the description if you want to check them out in detail. Uh, so the first one we have is the Yakuza 3 um, PS3 Fatboy console, and it does have the dragons printed on the console, which is awesome. I'm going to turn that music down just a little bit. One of my favourite consoles this one, it's amazing. Shout out to um, my boy TJ for helping me out with most of these consoles. He sold his collection and I was lucky enough to um, buy most of them, so that was really awesome. Um, so I'm looking after them and loving them. Now here we have an Australian released Fatboy console. I got this one from my buddy Evan. And it is the Killzone 2 console. This is orange, it looks awesome. Now this is just an outer box. It has got an actual, another box on the inside like the Grand Theft Auto 4 console. Uh, I do want to track that one down too one day. Uh, it doesn't have anything printed on the actual console like the Yakuza one you just seen. Uh, but this outside box is awesome guys, so I had to have it when I when I seen it. On to the next one. Uh, 
Now this is another Australian one, nothing too special about this one. Now, but I got it for a good price, so I decided to add it to the collection. It's a 40 gig console, it's not backwards compatible or anything. It is PAL though, and it is in a really nice box. Moving on to the next one, guys. Uh, another one from Japan. Not a special edition, but it is really cool. It's the white 80 gigabyte Fatboy PS3. It isn't backwards compatible, but it is really awesome in that white. One of my favorite um, looking consoles, this one. I will mention these boxes are almost all in immaculate condition, so I'm very grateful. I've got a shelf set up outside the game room with all the consoles on it at all times. Uh, if you guys follow my Instagram, you've probably seen the photo of most of the special edition consoles together. If you're not, Figsy Games on Instagram, be sure to check me out, guys. Now this one's probably the most expensive console in my collection, apart from the PS5. Depending on what the PS5 goes for right now. Um, but this one goes for over a thousand Australian dollars. It's the Resident Evil 5 or the Biohazard 5 um, Japanese PS3 console and it's got the Biohazard symbol on the actual console which is just amazing. Another beautiful console. Very grateful to um, have this one in the collection as well. I think this one's my favorite. Um, it also goes to around the thousand dollar mark. And not that I'll ever sell this, this is amazing. The Final Fantasy VII Advert Children Complete Console. 160 gigabyte and it's got um, imprinting on the actual console itself. Back of the box, of course. actually printed on the console um, there's only four Batboy consoles with printing on them and um, you've seen three of them already with this one the Resident Evil and the Yakuza one you're gonna see the fourth one in a minute uh, it's really awesome to own all four of these consoles they're amazing guys I love the artwork on them particularly this one's my favorite I love the box of Final Fantasy this one's just amazing uh, thanks again, TJ. I love these dolls, mate. Now, excluding all your, like, you know, Taco Bell low, low print consoles, this is probably the rarest standard release PS3 console on the market. It is the Everybody's Golf. Five. Uh, it was released in Japan only. Now this isn't black, it's actually matte black. The only Fatboy console that is matte black, it's 20 gigabyte. Um, but being a Japanese release, it just makes it so rare and it is just extremely rare. If you're a console, a serious console collector, you do know about the rarity of this one. I'm um, very grateful to have it in the collection. Looks absolutely amazing guys, I love everybody's golf. Again, thanks to TJ for this one. Got one more to show you guys, these are quite heavy. Again, from Japan. It's the fourth Batboy console with printing on the cover, and it is the Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriot Limited Edition. PS3 console. It's amazing guys. There was an American one as well, which I'd love to own, but um, realistically and logistically, I probably won't be getting my hands on that one anytime soon. 
Uh, but I'm very happy to own this one. I love the Metal Gear series. Just an amazing looking console. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Here's all the um, consoles on the floor in order. They look pretty nice together. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm Figsy. Thanks for um, stopping by. If you joined in from the Nintendo Switch video, I'm going to be doing more Nintendo content in the future, so definitely check that out. I've been enjoying Nintendo. I've even been playing PC games, so um, see what we can do about that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you guys have been awesome. I've been Figsy, and happy hunting. I'll see you next time.